Hi, this is Elisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful cards. It looks complicated, but it's actually pretty simple and easy. That's a start. Okay, so we're going to use the Low Cooking um, Rubber Stand markers. And we're going to use a brand new tool. This is called the Magic Mushroom. Um, few impact, two tone, white, light pink, one dark pink, light green, and dark green. We are going to use our Humming Alone stamp and die, die cut combo set. And we're going to use our number one cell warts background. If you already own a box of a local King Robert Stance markers that I am sure you're going to love our brand new product, those are the magic mushroom. They are the blending tool. Each mushroom comes with an individual storage container. It helps you to store your mushroom. They also, um, you can purchase those holding bases to place your mushrooms. And then anytime when you want to use it, you can just pick it up. So it's a good idea to create a prototype before you spend a long time to working on your final project. So this is the prototype that I create just with a white car stuff. And I found that it's a pretty um, um, impressive already, but I like color. So we are only going to need the two sheets of paper. This is a 10.5 by 7 and then we're going to just scroll in the middle. That will be 5.25 by 7. So this is a 5.25 by seven okay and then we are going to use the other piece of cards that is going to be five by ten we are going to um scoring 0 0.5 scroll line 0 0.5 scroll line four inches scroll line four inches scroll line and 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 if you have a scroll power it's good so just uh, use your scroll power and um doing the scrolling if you don't have a scroll power um be creative, just use a ruler and the drawing a line. Okay, and then use a pencil to draw in a line, and then you can find a, a ballpoint pen that the one it doesn't have ink, and then you kind of just use a, your ballpoint pen to use as a scrolling line. So that's how I do the scrolling line. So only two pieces of cardstock can create the car just like that. Okay, so we're going to use a Humming Alone stamp and die cut combo set. So this is a set come with the matching die cuts, also come with stamp. So two cut, the two die cut plus one stamp only for $24.99. And then we are going to use a, a piece of glossy paper. This is a black, black, uh, black glossy cardstock. We are going to use a this glossy cardstock to create a stencil. If you um, please check out online DVD library, we have a lot of tutorial. For the past um, few tutorial, I was showing you um, how to use a die cut to create your own stencil. So this card, you can see the green area and the um, the pink area actually is created by our own die cut. So just make sure you have a piece of glossy paper or the mirror paper, they will be a great because so I'm planning to use this stencil again and again. So glossy paper have, have kind of finished coating, so it's kind of water resist, so they will last longer. So Local King's matching die is really, really detailed. When you use a detailed die cut, here is what it's going to do. You can use a sweeper or dryer sheet. The dryer sheet that you use to dry, um, put it in your dryer machine, just rub the back of your die cut. They will prevent the, those papers stuck on your die cut. So it's a great thing to so, um, make sure you give it a try. And then we are going to just uh, place the die cut on the glossy paper. We're going to run to the machine and we'll be right back. Okay, so after you run through the die cut, you want to make sure that you have a clean cutting line before you release your paper. Every machine is different, but the, our die cut is awesome, great quality. Usually one run, even though they are so detailed, they give you a clean cut. But if somehow your machine or is not, you, you don't see those clean die cut line rotated, or flip over, make sure you want to have a clean cutting line before you release your die cut. And so we just release the, the die cut like these. And I'm going to show you what 
is the, the kiss cut. So after you die cut it, okay, after you die cut here, you see this piece die cut, it didn't fall off from, um, from, the, from this piece cardstock. So because there is a little hinge still attached on top, that's what's called the kiss cut. So I leave that option over there. You can decide you want to keep your die cut on the piece of cardstock or you want to lose it. So it's not defect item. Don't send me an email say this is a defect item while they are not the cut. So this design uh, um, originally when I designed this feature is I want you to create the, a shaker cut because they are still attached on the, your car stock you only you have to seal what uh, with a piece of acetate that can create a beautiful shaker cut but the option is there you decide what would you like to do so this uh, the um so we're going to cut two times put the die cut cut two times to create a window and then I want to leave my kiss cut here. I don't want to fall off from the die uh, from the least piece of paper. Okay, and then I am going to grab my other piece of cardstock. I'm going to place the die cut to cut the two times. One on the right side, one on the left side. And then you probably can see this die cut when I cut the right side one, put the die cut here. And then this one, I actually flip over and then cut from this side. So that way I can get like a two balanced one. Or if you want to just cut like this, so this way it doesn't really matter. So it totally depends on you. So you can cut one side, flip your cut card the other side to kind of make like a, the balance or which way you like. But before we die cut it, we are actually going to color first because that is easier. You color first and you die cut. Okay, so I kind of trim off uh, my fuchsia and uh, so the whole image, I lose the frame and I lose the hummingbird. I only want to use the fuchsia, fuchsia part as my stencil. So I have my um, my cards here ready and I have a two color the um, the pear tart and the cartridge ivy. So this is my magic mushroom. Every time when you want to use a magic mushroom, always testing first. See, my, uh, my mushroom have some color because I didn't clean last time after I used. This is how you clean your magic mushroom. You're going to use a wet cloth and then you kind of just squeeze your mushroom, okay? It's a good idea to use a wet cloth because sometimes these mushrooms need a little bit moisture. If your uh, mushrooms are brand new, make sure you do this, okay? Give a little bit moisture, they, uh, they become a little bit softer. It's easier to blend in it. After you squeeze your mushroom on the wet cloth, you're going to use a napkin, um, paper towel or Kleenex, kind of absorb the extra color on the mushroom. After you do that, and then see, is much lighter. Just keep squeezing. Even though on your Kleenex have some color, but don't panic. It's going to be cleanable. Okay. So now we have this uh, um, fuchsia stencil. We're going to start with a light color. Always start with a lighter color first. We're going to brush your impact and then just place your fuchsia stencil anywhere you like. You just gently tap tap. When you push harder, you get a darker color. When you release a little bit pressure, it becomes lighter. So you kind of just uh, tap, tap, tap. I got a little bit fingerprint here. That's okay. We are going to try to fix it. So always remember keep your finger clean. Okay, you can kind of show you here. So rub, rub, right? And then you push harder. That's what it look like. You release a little bit pressure. That looks like this. So it's a great idea because that's different between the sponge and the brushes. Brushes. So because a sponge is a big platform, so it's easier to get the, the color you like. Okay. Sometimes you can actually drag a little bit your 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 mushroom here. Okay. I get a little bit. Um, darker green there so don't panic we are going to fix it so I so we kind of rotate this uh, fuchsia and then again heat hard when you heat hard they get a darker color when you release the pressure they get a lighter color okay and then we are going to change our location again 
Oh, that's a dark hour. We're coming back to fix that one. Be careful. Make sure your fingers are clean. Okay, again. This time, I just do a very, very light color. See, I really like those soft colors. And see how pretty you just created your own um, pattern paper. We're going to ro um, just uh, rotate this stencil a little bit. And then, again, heat it gently. Tap, tap, tap. I use the watercolor paper. You can use a good quality card style would do the same thing. Okay, and then that's just a road. Um, these are fuchsia, so make sure gently, and then kind of use uh, this magic mushroom kind of sweeping like these. Okay. That's so pretty, right? It's just green. And then now I am going to, so we don't, because I'm uh, moving from the light color to the dark color now. For the darker color, we're going to just gently pick up a little bit color. And then the best part is when these two color over together, they actually create the third color. So the color will be blending together. Here I have a, a little bit finger tip here, finger. I make here a little bit dirty. I'm going to hide it. So that's a kind of put my magic mushroom. Um, back to the same place. It should be easily lined up. There you go. Okay, and then just give a little bit darker green. I fix my boo boo one, two, three, just like that. And then we're going to rotate it. See how pretty it is. Okay, one more. So most of the local king um, rubber stamp matching die cut is so detailed. So all the die cut you can use as a stencil too. I think that's good enough for my front card. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then we are going to working on the background. So it's the same technique, and then there's one thing you have to be careful. We are, before we use at least the same stencil to apply the pink color, I want you to do something. I want you to clean your stencil because on top is green. So what you're gonna do is just use a Kleenex and spray bot a bottle of um, spray wa uh, water and kind of just wipe off on the surface of this glossy car so not too much, see they are green. And then now when we go apply the color on top, Okay, we don't have to worry about we pick up the green color. So I have uh, two um, pink color. One is a rose bud and one is a lilac pose. So same thing. This time we are going to use uh, the light color and I'm, I'm going to um, fa fast forward it. And then see my mushroom is dirty, right? So what are you going to do? You're going to clean your mushroom. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And dry with a Kleenex and let's see, there you go, ready to use. Okay, and we are going to add a little script in the back. So I have my number one background stamps. This is called the words, it's a definition of a lock from the dictionary. And then we're going to put our background stamp on the table. We are going to use this tangible, it's kind of orange, rubbing your background stamp. Okay, and then we are going to just kind of stamping. I leave this area kind of white, right? So we only want this part. So I kind of just flip my card the other side and just kind of burnish it with my fingers. And that's how I get this beautiful background. Okay, now we are going to die cut now. Okay, so I have my die cut here and I am going to, if you cannot really see where you're supposed to place your die cut, you can fold it first. Okay, but just be careful your fingers, make sure your fingers are clean. Those are white, you don't want to have a dirty fingerprint on top. And we are going to just place our die cut there. Only use a detail die.
So this is a detailed die. This is outline die. You don't need this one, but if you want to learn how to use this die cut, check out tutorial. We have a lot of a nice tutorial to show you how to use it. So I'm going to run to the machine and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like after you place the die cut, you die cut it. Like I say, because our uh, die cut have at least a kiss cut feature, after you die cut it, they won't fall apart from your main piece of paper because they have a little hinge still attached on top. If you want it, you can break it off. It's very easy to break it off. If you um you, you don't want it, you leave like this or create a um, shaker card, just leave it. But sometimes if your machine is too much pressure, they kind of have some parts kind of loose don't worry just use this invisible uh, invisible um, tape kind of just uh, tape some part or if you don't have a local kings matching die cut you want to make a same kind of color like leaves all you have to do is after you die cut it just place it back just place that piece of die cut back like a piece of puzzle and then you can do the same thing okay so that's just uh, use uh, this uh, invisible tape. Just tape the corner. I mean, the tape the place. You kind of think they falling off on your paper. Uh, okay. These hummingbird like this corner definitely need a piece uh, tape, and that's it. Okay, how come this one have no color? This one have a color because this one I didn't use my stamp. This one I used the stamp and stamp image and die cut it and then put it back. Why I don't just stamp directly on this uh, cardstock? Here's the reason. I use a watercolor paper and the watercolor paper I use is 130 pounds. It's really thick, so which is a they can create a beautiful 3D card. They don't really absorb, like their surface is not as smooth as like a glossy paper or matte coat cardstock. So that's why I want to use this watercolor paper for my foundation, but I want to show this beautiful hummingbird image. So what I do is I just stamp one more time die cut one more time and then glue back to this place to create a color. If you haven't seen us how to color with our markers, um, please make sure you go to our website. We have a lot, a hundred different tutorials to show you how to use our product. Product is product. Without a great tutorial, you don't know how to use it. So that's why we come up with all the awesome tutorial and make sure you check it out and please leave a feedback. Let, let us know, well, let, let me know what do we do. And uh, I I'm going to just fast forward the coloring technique. If you'd like to know more detail about the coloring, just check the tutorial how to use the local key metric markers. Okay, so we're going to apply some double side tape on the both sides. The first uh, folding part like that okay and then you're gonna bring your main one so try to line out the center okay and then kind of folding like a 90 degree okay make it like a standing up and the same thing this one like this and then kind of Pull down the right side a little bit, push a little bit, just make sure they kind of like these. And then you can actually close it. See? That's what it look like when you close it. Open it. That's it. So thank you for watching our tutorial. I hope you like it. If you're looking for something unique, here is the right channel that you should looking for. And then Let's give a little bit preview for our next tutorial. The next tutorial, we are going to make lace. Is that awesome? And then at the same time, I am actually starting the other tutorial. So it's just a little preview how to create the, those awesome backgrounds. If you don't want to make to, uh, you don't want to miss our tutorial, make sure you like us on the Facebook or subscribe our YouTube channel or subscribe our um, newsletter. Once in a while, we send the coupon code out, and at this moment, we have a twenty-five percent off uh, for all the regular prices. The coupon code is.
2020 LKRS. It's going to be expired March 4th. Thank you for watching. This is Lisa from Local King Robert Stand. See you next time.